I'm Finlay McNabb, I'm an urban designer working for Sustrans and today we're putting a carpet in the road. Why, you might ask? Well the reason is um, that the school got in touch with us and they asked us um, to see what we could do to try and make the area feel a bit safer for pedestrians and for parents who are crossing from this side of the road over to the school on this side of the road. And one of the, one of the mothers came up with an idea of using the kind of gothic clove for a detail from the building of the school in the street itself. And what we tried to do is create a sort of carpet effect which is slightly organic and fluid, which creates a certain controlled level of ambiguity for drivers. So they might approach with more care and actually look for pedestrians. Which is actually a split site school. So one half of the school is on one side of the road and the other half is on the other side of the road. Um, and we decided a few years ago that we needed to do something to, to sort of make the road feel more part of the school space. And to make it safer, there's like big numbers of children and parents to school this way and it gets very congested on the pavement. Um, and then Sustrans um, offered to help with uh, this DIY street project, which is um, going on in the background as we speak, which is really exciting to see it all take, take shape. Could you tell me what you're doing? Road carpeting. Road. <laughs> Road. Road carpeting. And what right now are you doing? Peeling off um, the plastic from the things that we need to um, put on the road. And then they're going to um, blow dry on the road. And what will the whole thing do? stop for children. Um, like from school? Yeah, when they're crossing the road. Yes. Did you go to the school? Yeah. Yes, we go to school. 